वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स यू मस्ट ऑल बी नोइंग कि आई प्रिपेयर माय लास्ट लेक्चर ऑन अर्थक्वेक एंड लखनऊ एंड आई फोकस ऑन कि बिल्डिंग अर्थक्वेक रेजिस्टेंट अर्थक्वेक प्रोन स्ट्रक्चर्स इज द की टू सर्वाइव एनी मेजर अर्थक्वेक तो नाउ दिस इज माई लेक्चर सिक्सटी थर्ड I would be telling you all in very brief about earthquake resistant buildings how to construct what to do and the relevant governing indian standard codes is codes I had previously told you in my earthquake hazards lecture ki earthquakes do not kill unsafe buildings do or rather unsafe buildings can so we have to be sure that the proper structure design and engineering practices are followed while constructing a house but for a layman it's really difficult but still i am focusing on these topics ke hamara jo future hai wahan earthquake ki activities hone ke chances aksar aur kafi zyada rehte hain to जो लोग भी इस लेक्चर को देखेंगे सीज दिस लेक्चर, दे शुड नो कि व्हाट बेयर मिनिमम थिंग्स नीड बी डन वाइल कंस्ट्रक्टिंग देयर बिल्डिंग्स रेजिडेंसीज तो वन शुड वॉच एंड चेक फॉर अगर आप किसी एग्जिस्टिंग बिल्डिंग में रहते हैं अर्थक्वेक्स के बाद कि क्रैक्स बींग डेवलप इफ एनी आफ्टर अर्थक्वेक कोई क्रैक्स तो नहीं डेवलप हुए क्रैक्स जनरली किसी बिल्डिंग के कॉर्नर पर डेवलप होते हैं डेवलप द corner of the buildings or they develop in between continuous openings like windows etc and so on but i would not be discussing that in detail because my focus is to make you all people aware of the prevailing indian standard codes which need be taken into consideration while designing the structures by the structural engineers which you can discuss with your designer while getting your building designed your dream house design, dream house design and built now as well we can evaluate the structural soundness of the existing buildings after an earthquake whether to strengthen them retrofit if necessary etc which i will be discussing at the very last line of my lecture at the very end now we have to make sure that our houses are built safe they are designed and built as per bureau of indian standard codes bureau of indian standards has published following seismic codes halanki bis ne hamare seismic codes retaining structures ke liye dams ke liye over tanks ke liye sab ke liye bana rakhe hain but kyunki hamara basic focus hai ek general makan banane ke liye to i am telling you all about the Indian Standard Codes concerned with the buildings. So the Indian Standard Code IS one eight nine three is the criteria for earthquake resistant design of structures. IS four three two six is the Indian Standard Code of practice for earthquake resistant design and construction of buildings. This was for the design of structures. This is for the construction of buildings as well. IS one three eight two seven Indian Standard Guidelines for improving earthquake resistance. of earthen buildings jo log mitti ke makan banate hain this is for them is 13828 is guidelines indian standard guidelines for improving earthquake resistance of low strength masonry buildings kyunki aap generally dekhte honge ki jo chote mote structure aadhi banata hai wo masonry buildings banata hai ya ab aaj ki date mein jo afford kar sakte hain structure designing ki fees wagaira dena they prefer in for RCC frame structure, reinforced cement concrete frame structures with partition walls. So, our Indian standard codes, हर तरीके के structures के लिए बने हुए, which are being time to time revised as well by them. So, हमने ये आपको Indian standard codes के, I am telling you about their numbers. Whilst you have to, you have to see and discuss with your designer that he is following the latest codes. of these <clears throat> now is 13920 which i have already discussed in my 
previous lecture about uh, in earthquake hazards which says this is the Indian Standard Code of Practice for ductile detailing of reinforced concrete structures subjected to seismic forces. And this is especially meant for buildings to be built in seismic zones 3, 4 and 5. Which we have told you in the previous lecture that the seismic zonation of India ka Bureau of Indian Standards has done all over the country. And at last, this is the Indian Standard Code IS 13935, which says ki there are Indian Standard Code guidelines for seismic evaluation, repair, and strengthening of masonry buildings guidelines for those structures which have already been built. And if your structures have undergone or faced any major earthquake. So you should look after कि अगर आपके structure में कोई fault आया हो, कोई उसका part defunct हो रहा हो या कोई आपको cracks develop हुए हो, तो you can concern this code with the help of a structural engineer concerned कि what kind of strengthening, if any, or retrofitting, seismic retrofitting do you require for your own residences, buildings, etc. where you live here the prime most aspect is ki it should be safe and earthquake resistant and earthquake prone for any future major earthquakes. So dear friends, hope aap logo ko mera lecture pasand aaya hoga. I wish you will keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geo Technical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.